The U.S. Department of Agriculture expects American farmers to produce more than 3 billion bushels of soybeans this year, off more than 75 million acres. Growers like David Wilson say they grow soybeans because they offer many advantages over other crops. Soybeans is a very versatile crop. It's a very easily marketed crop. Soybeans has been good to us for many years. Uh, their, their price this year is not quite up to par with corn or cotton, but um, it makes a good double crop crop behind wheat. By double cropping soybeans, farmers can get the maximum use of their land by keeping it in production almost year round. Wilson is planting 1,200 acres of soybeans this year, which is considerably less than he normally grows. But even with lower prices, he says soybeans are an important crop in his operation. I normally plant a good many more acres of soybeans than I am this year. Last year I had 3,500 acres of soybeans. Uh, but the price was just a little bit off this time. Uh, but, but I still, I'm not going to get away from soybeans. It's been a good crop to us. Wilson says his daddy started planting soybeans in 1948, and there hasn't been a year they didn't plant them since then. But just in his lifetime, Wilson says he's seen some amazing changes take place. Well, varieties have gotten much better, and they're, they're starting to, to build, I think, hopefully on what I call a snowball situation. We're getting some drought-tolerant beans uh, that they're developing. Uh, yields have gone up on soybeans. I can remember when, when 30 bushel beans was excellent beans, and, and now those 30 bushel beans steps up there to about 60 or more. Many of the improvements in crop production come from producer-funded research programs through the United Soybean Board. Other advances have been made in equipment. Many tractors are equipped with onboard computers and can steer themselves using GPS technology and most farmers use far larger equipment today than they did in the past. That four row planter was 15 feet wide. This planter behind me here is 80 feet wide. Um, and we just got through planting cotton with this one in 40 inch rows. We planted 24 40s or now we're planting 48 20s. So it's a little more versatile planter than what we used to own. But these technological advancements come with a high price. This rig costs about a half million dollars new, and that's just to plant the crop. He also has to have a $350,000 combine to harvest it. Wilson says for a farmer, it's just as important to know how to run a business as it is to know how to grow a crop. Managing your bottom line has got to be the key to being a successful farmer. In Elmore County, Alabama, this is Kevin Worthington for Time Well Spent.